Hello, my name is Neil Friedberg. I am the Building Science Manager here at LP Building Solutions. Today we're going to show you the correct way to install LP Novacore Thermal Insulated Shielding with Owens Corning Formular NGX Technology. LP Novacore combines 7 16 OSB panel with one inch of XPS foam, allowing for a continuous insulation to be installed on the exterior of your house LP Novacore comes in three sizes, eight foot, nine foot, and 10 foot. The R value is R5 per inch. It allows you to use two by four framing to achieve two by six code standards. Use this as a regular sheeting material. It's easier to use than applying two separate layers. You can drill, cut, and nail just like OSB. It is installed with the OSB facing the exterior, the insulation facing the interior. An approved WRB must be installed over the OSB as a regular sheathing product. This can be installed vertically or horizontally, allowing blocking or sleepers to be at the edge of the board for proper nailing. One of the things about corners is if you're doing an inside corner with a member that doesn't meet that corner enough for support, you are required to install a sleeper on the other side of it. On an exterior corner, there are two approaches. One, you can overlap the foam to the external sheathing material, or you can cut out the thickness of foam and overlap with an OSB. This allows you to determine what is best for the builder and how to best attach the facade on the building. When installing LP Novacore for structural purposes, all panel edges should be blocked and nailed appropriately and should be fastened with a foam to the stud the OSB to the exterior. Use a minimum of three inch by 0.131 inch full round framing nail. The nailing pattern should be four inches along the perimeter and 12 inches in the field. Make sure not to overdrive nails and have all nails flush to the OSB. There should be a 1 8 gap between each panel. For complete installation instructions, visit lpcorp.com slash novacore.